We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Yeah, I want to plug it in. I know where I know where it has to go. But first, I have emails that I want to check. So we read all these. Um, da -da -da -da. Yeah, we read all these. Space heaters we read. Annoying. Absurd was definitely onto us. Most of the power sources. Yep. I was hoping there's a way to bypass some of these memories, but synchronization seems to dictate you progress in chronological order. Hopefully someday we'll have a way to move through memories more quickly. Would certainly save us a lot of time in situations like this. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, but then there wouldn't be a video game. Why do you delay? If you do not retrieve the key in time, all the world will perish, and you with it. Yet you stop to talk or rest. Rest later. When your work is done, if I seem aggressive, if my words feel more imperative than requests, it is because I fear that you will not succeed in time, and then all of us are doomed. My father was taken from me by human hands, a war they called it, for their freedom. They were not even meant to exist. You were not meant to exist. We conjured you, a mistake, an error that cost us the world. My father would sing to me as a child, soft songs of hope and love, his voice forever stilled when your brutish ancestors took up axe and club, later turned our words own works against us. We might have known what was to come, and averted it had you not dragged us into this war. This is your fault. Yeesh. You know, it's rather incredible the way your lunatic fringe tries to conjure the spirit of the Founding Fathers to support their various causes. And by incredible, I mean hilarious. They hold up slave-owning, sexist, homophobes as if that's some sort of ideal to which one should aspire. Oh, and in case you think I added that last bit for fun, as the sexism and slavery bits are already common knowledge, sodomy was a criminal offense in every one of the 13 colonies except for Georgia, and Thomas Jefferson, champion of personal liberty that he was, advocated for the castration of homosexuals. Lovely fellows, these founding fathers of yours. And now there's that new bit of madness with people asking for the removal of textbook references to their slave owning. And before you think to turn it back round and rightly point their barbarism was inspired by English law, last I checked, two stupids don't make it smart. I thought the whole point of the revolution was to break free of the old ways, and it certainly doesn't recommend your founders as the sort of persons one should aspire to become, unless you aspire to become a manipulative bigot. Lest you think I'm championing some sort of leftist agenda, I'll gladly shame the internet tough guys who celebrate the Treaty of Tripoli as well. Shame on them for thinking it shows anything other than something's taken straight out of the First Grader's Guide to International Relations. Its intent wasn't to prove America wasn't a Christian nation. They were saying they weren't going to reignite the Crusades. No, that would be delayed for a couple of centuries. Now, I don't believe your founding fathers wanted to establish a theocracy. And they probably did intend for the country to be welcoming of all religions, but this isn't proof of that. I suppose the point I'm trying to make is that people might want to spend a little less time romanticizing and manipulating the past, fat chance that, and a bit more time focusing on how to improve the future, fatter chance still. That's not to say that's not to say there isn't plenty to be learned from looking back, because there is. It's just that most of those lessons wind up ignored or perverted these days. At best it's disingenuous and unproductive. At worst and often it's rather dangerous. Well alright then, Sean, I'll keep that in mind. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us. But what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Hey, I hope it's not uncomfortable for me to ask, but what happened with Lucy? I don't know. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's fine. I really don't know. I was talking to my dad about it. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Juno definitely took control, but I think I agreed to it on some level. I think I let her in. No. <laughs> That's not right. It, it wasn't her. Not exactly. It, it was more like a, a program. Does that sound weird? It, it showed me things. What'd you see? That if I didn't stop Lucy, Abstergo would get the apple, and we'd all be dead. I still don't understand why she turned on us. I'm sure she thought she was doing the right thing. 
I gotta get back to work. You might want to do the same. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna go put this power source in because we need it. Now I explored up here before and got lost, so hopefully we don't get lost again. I had found the next power source section, as it were. Um, over here. So yeah, it seems like Sean doesn't like America, <laughs> to put it bluntly. I don't know. I've, I've learned history about when I lived in the States for a couple years as a kid, but it's true that you guys learn more about yourselves than you do about other countries, whereas I still learn about everything up here. But that's a whole other debate. Um, See, so that's what we need to get to. Um, yeah, I mean, not much you can do to change it, I guess. This game is good for learning certain things, but people definitely should not be taking this as historical fact, right? Okay, so how do I get up there? I don't I don't think this is the right way. No, this definitely isn't the right way. Where the hell did we go? What the fuck, Connor? We're stuck down here, I think. Unless I can get it, get it from in here. Oh, I see. I'm an idiot. I ran by this like twice. Alrighty. Second power source activate. Staircase is revealed. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know. Maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next, and then... I don't know. They must have left at some point. After the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them. But not for you. Sealed. To protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. Okay. Let's go see where these stairs lead, I guess. Or should I wait until I have the next power source? I don't know. We're climbing these stairs. Yeah. Secret passageways. approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. That looks like Desmond. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But, but there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. 
not, not for us. us. Holy fuck. She killed him. Where are we hiding from, Desmond? Alright. So that's creepy. What? How did I fuck that up? Seriously? Back up we go. What other secrets is she hiding from us? Okay, can't do that. Get down, doesn't. Oh, we gotta go up this thing. I see. Climb it, Desmond. Remember how to climb, don't you? Jesus. There we go. Drop down, Desmond. Now, this is an entire pathway that we're going to have to remember, I think, to get back here when we get the next power supply. But, I can handle that. I think I'll be able to remember. Easier than the last one, at least. Because that's all we're going to do, is we're going to find the next place that the power source needs to go. After learning some new stories. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though. Were they right to turn away? Maybe? Um, so we just got here. Where do I go now? Oh, I guess I gotta jump across. This seems treacherous. Let's throw the, like, amber or whatever that is. It looks like the stuff the fossils from like Jurassic Park was in. Am I not? Am I wrong? It doesn't it look like that. Well, this is where the next power supply goes, guaranteed. Yep. So we'll be back here when we find another power supply, I guess. Can I get out of here now? Oh, this is the way out. All right. Oh, sweet, a quick exit. Nice. So. That means we can go talk to... Actually, I don't feel like talking to them. Let's go back in the Animus. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? Already. It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. That doesn't sound right. Ready when you are, Desmond. That sounds a bit fishy, doesn't it? Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly, and will not rest until he is dead. 
I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. 1777. The snow is back. Hopefully we can still go back and do those missions we missed. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in oh, charge. Oh, damn, Connor. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. 